All right, then. Let's see what kind of sound of music you have going. I think that was the third? Yes. Okay, good. <sighs> Remembering sounds of the order they came up in was pretty tough. Okay, good. That was the last one. All right, good. Looks like I might solve this one. We still have one more round. That was the fourth, right? Yes! Whoo! Thank goodness. That was a bit of a struggle. Well, it took me multiple tries, but I finally got it. And while celebration, I'm gonna do a snow globe. <laughs> Rex is like, yeah, cool my back. Yeah, oh, that feels good. Yes. Freaking Rick, you weirdo. Stop making Kirby do weird things to you. This is why nobody likes you. Even though you're probably the most recognizable freaking animal friend. Come on, Hamtaro! Who's Hamtaro? No, never mind! Yeah, let's not go into that, please. Well, either way, I'm fine making it through. Good! I don't have to be back here. That actually took me multiple ow attempts to get right! Because, goddammit, sound memory game was really throwing me off. Hey! Don't fall in the water, you'll go faster, Rick. Always remember that. You'll always be faster if you're not in the water. And there we go, we're good. Let's get the hell out of here. Also, thank you for the star heart. Make sure you grab it, by the way. Don't forget it. Because then you'll feel like an even bigger idiot. If you beat it all and then forgot to take your prize. Don't be like that. Well, anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Kirby's Dream Land 3. This is your host, the MJ406. And now there are, now there are no more mini games. So... We just focus on going to the level as normal. Well, I feel like we're getting a we're about to get a friggin' seashell or something. No, I'm not gonna worry about it. Whoa! Did like a mini screen nuke just happen? Look like a lot of shit just broke at once! What the hell? I remember that Rick could bounce on everybody. Wee ow! Wee! Unless, of course, you're in the middle of another attack. That's the only exception to the rule. Ow! Or somebody else attacking. <sighs> Alright. By the way, I have fire. Burn everything in your path, Rick! Burn everything in your path, Rick! Rick, don't die. Don't be here, die, Rick. You're dying, motherfucker. Oh. Alright then. Quick thinking. Go, Rick. Continue forward. Oh. That was fucked up. And you know it as well as I do, game. You bastard. Another opportunity for fire, huh? Why do I feel like it? Want me to have fire? Whoa! Screw you! Oh, that's that's nice. Okay, so you need fire to get to this point. If you do that, you have the option of Koo, which he will not be useful. Or the one I really want. Oh, it reminds me. Hey! Where do you think you're going, Gooey? Don't have a mind of your own, how dare you? Or we can get Rick again? Um, maybe I'm thinking later. Well, in that case, I guess I'll take Coover now. Your dive bombs might be more useful than freaking Rick's little flame breath, which I can basically do, so. He brings nothing new to the table. All right, I'll just be careful around the ice. That will be good. Wah! I said be careful around the ice, you dummy! Wolf. Okay. Uh-oh. I'll just take our time, go back and forth a bit. Let this all Let this all just fall according to my plan. Whoops. I meant to do this. 
I'll maintain my health as much as I possibly can. So, let's just all fly along nice and slowly. You feel me? You feel me, Koo? I would hope you do. I've always wanted you to feel... Ew. Sorry. Sorry, Koo. Didn't mean to make you feel weird like that. Just play along, alright? I have faith that you know what you're doing. Just speed along and do not let these things get to you. Look at them. They think they can harm my coup. Bitch! Get out of here! You're nonsense. These assholes! Can't take damage too quickly. That's what makes you lose your power, don't forget. No! Stop doing that! Okay. No! Oh, God. Okay. Okay, we're good. God, it's dangerous. Good thing I have Gooey to supply me with infinite health if I need it. Hope we get fire up to this point. And hopefully... You pick Koo. Because he'll make this much, much better. Hmm. Now I'm wondering what's in that room. I don't think I should go back, though. Yeah, see? If you picked Rick, you would not be able to go in there. So, we want to go in here. Right. Well, good. Or did I pick the wrong room? Oh, no, 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 I didn't. I remember. Okay, let's go through here. Well, you got... Well, choo-choo! Use your flight power! Oh, right. How's this? A, multi a multiple animal partner puzzle. And then you have pitch for some reason. You want to get used? Because honestly, I'd rather just keep Choo Choo with me, but... Well, you get time to shine. Alright, go away. Besides, I always love that friggin' hot air balloon thing of hers. It's just rad. Now! Where will we go with this? Wah! Take this path to get that little shell. So, yep, get Q to go through there, you'll be good. Ow! Go ahead. Do what you want to do. Oh, shit. Oh, man. This ball's a little harder than I remembered. Oh, I guess I have to hit him in the head. Yep. Okay, yeah, so we got a snowman mini boss. I have the shell, so it doesn't matter now. At this point, I just had to kill you. Uh-oh. I should have kept my firepower. I should have just gotten off. Oh, okay. You can hit him normally, too. Bitch! It only does a little more damage. One more hit will do it. You embarrassed me once, but not again! There we go. Yeah, see, you can go down one or two paths. So hopefully you pick the right one. Get that coup with fire and have him take you down. I was right. I knew it had to be coup because he can do it at a downward angle. That's special. If Kirby can do something that another animal partner can do, chances are you want the animal partner who can do something Kirby can't do. Always something to keep in mind. Move out of my way. I don't want to put up with you right now. I just want to get out of here, please. I don't need to see your bats. I don't need to see your stars. I don't need to see your stupid umbrellas. Whatever. Get away! Get away! There we go. That solves my problem. Perfect! And well, I got the snail his shell back. It would have just been like a little slug if I didn't get that. Good for you! I'm glad I managed to help you out. Alright, then. 
I'm not gonna get that maximum tomato for no reason. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Here's a weird one to mention. Notice there's a cat. I may as well spoil something for you right away. Guess what, animal friend? You can't get in that level. The cat. Nago. The only animal friend you can't get in that level. So you know what that means? You gotta take him from one level and drag him all the way to the end. So, hopefully you know how Nago works. Because you're gonna need to know. I'll give it a try. Otherwise, it's something we'll save for another time. So come on, Nago. Let's go. Remember, you can leave the level and keep whatever you have with you, so... That's your quick way to get what you need. If you need a power, be sure to take it. All right. Let's go, Nago. You just have to survive the entirety of the stage with Nago. No special conditions necessary. Just survive the stage. That's it. Well, with Nago. Survive the stage with Nago and you're good. The good thing is, you can take whatever element you want. So treat yourself to something nice. Take whatever you want. I would buy spikes because, well, spikes are really useful. They always have been for me. Don't be tempted by the others. Basically, this is a little platforming gauntlet, if you will. Ow. And, well, hopefully your platformings and your A-game. Because otherwise, you're going to have a very rough time in this stage. Use your gooey chi if you have to. I am not doing the pogo thing. That thing sucks. It's hard to control, and, well, it barely works. There's not really a lot of healing items here, either. There might be some later, but not at the moment. Do whatever you have to to make the level easy for yourself. With Nago. That's all I can say. Just make it easy for you to go through Nago. No other condition is necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Uh, well. Here's one spot to heal. So, just get this thing to friggin' drop. Some shadow falls down for you. And use Kirby to grab him quick. Distract him! Yes, my man. Let's go. Get out of here, bitch. I'm not doing the rock. All he does is pound the ground. And here are the other two. Hello. Bye, pitch and choo-choo. I don't need you. I don't intend to ever grab you guys for... Have fun down there. That's a bottomless pit. And the other child in Nago. Can't fly, but he can triple jump. So, well, you do two minute air jumps. So, if you need to avoid pits, do so. See, look, this is so much easier with spikes. Because he can shoot them everywhere, and they go mainly in front of him. He can shoot them everywhere. And look at how many opportunities they give you for spikes. Take it. Trust me. It's a great weapon for Nago. One of his best. Others go at weird angles. This one goes straight ahead and is very versatile. So, it's a great weapon. It does the damage it needs to. Nothing to worry about with it. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? That was a stupid move. You don't need a one-up. Oh, well, there goes all the health you got from fricking that one room. I don't need to do whatever ice thing you have. I forgot what it was. I don't care enough to remember. You know I showed it off? Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Just go one gonzo at a time. That's right. And use that mid-air jump effectively. So if you feel like you had bad timing with going somewhere, use the mid-air jump to save yourself. And see, Kine and Koo. See, they brought Kine again. That is your giveaway. They throw Kine in there twice instead of giving you Nago. Oh no, I can't get in there. What a pity. Sucks to be me. Screw it, screw it, screw it. It's not worth getting anything. Just go. <laughs> yeah, spiders. 
Yeah, there's just a big gauntlet of rooms. Electricity, don't need you. Thank you, goodbye. Screw you. Oh, God! Thanks for the free one-up. <sighs> oh, there's the room you want to do this for. This could be a tough room to get through with, uh... Oh, never mind. At least I think. Okay, yeah, you just can fall down. Alright, just want to make sure it wasn't a bottomless pit. Gotta be very skeptical of everything. Hello, fake Kirby! So, what's on your agenda today? Can I finally kill him? Can I please finally kill him? No, he's just there. Alright then. They're really just there for show. There we go! You have freaking Choo Choo and Rick! See? They just keep teasing you, trying to get you to go to another animal. Don't fall for their tricks. If the look of the stage and the cat doesn't make it obvious, the rest of the stage does make it obvious. Oh, this room sucks. Well, I got through just fine. I like how he moves around by rolling Kirby, too. Careful. These are all fake. Get close enough and start firing. Don't fall for that trickery. This is a long stage. I don't need to swab the floors. I'm good. You can keep your frickin' brooms. Oh, good. More hallucinogenic artwork. Ow! No! What are you doing? You know it must be done. There you go. We solved the problem. I forgot I was nearly dead earlier. We're so close. I think there's only one room after this. Okay. Maybe not. Uh, oh my god. How long is this place? Let's just go already. Oh. There's so many rooms. All right, I think this is the last room. Yeah, here's something new. Enemies are popping out of the wall. Be dicks. Oh my god, it's not the last room. All right. For real? What, are we having one room dedicated to every kind of freaking enemy in this place? Is that what's going on? At least we gave you a lot of healing items right at the end, which is very, very thoughtful. Okay, this is... I think this is the last room. So you made it here with Nago. You're in the clear. Well, probably two rooms ago when you could get health. So now you just get to ride up to the end. Oh. There you go. I brought you a boyfriend. Now leave me alone. You can have this one, too. <laughs> I'm kidding. Give me that. That star heart could be a bitch. Ugh. No, I want it, but I'll take it. All right. That leaves one more stage with an angel. Uh-oh. Pass fist run. Oh, God, no. By the way, I like the music for this stage. The music for this definitely feels very final stagey. So, here comes your enemy gauntlet. We're the stage before the final boss, so of course they're going to throw a lot at you. Oh, crap. I forgot what room I want to go in first. Take an animal friend you can trust. And hopefully you pick the one you want. Because, well... I don't think you need a particular one, but... Really, it's for your own benefit. Free one-up. Didn't get it. Tough shit. Let me go to the middle door again. More animal friends. If you want one for combat, go ahead. Why? Uh-oh. I have a feeling I went through the wrong order. Unless that was just there. Oh, no. Okay. Just tell you you have to go through this door. Okay. By the way, make sure you take every power you see along the way. You'll need it. Because note, there are feathers. So, you just have to beat all the bosses. Oh, we didn't get to see this mini boss. A block man of some kind. 
can either choose to use the powers you obtained from previous rooms to kill the bosses, or bail on them and just fight them normally. But, take the power each boss has. So this one's really straightforward. Just commit. As long as you commit, you can easily get this mission done. Oh shit. I'm definitely keeping this power up for you, because you suck. All right, all right, all right, all right. Ha. All right, all right, you Mr. Jokester. There we go, that made things easy. Just make sure you throw your old power up behind you. Always remember that. Throw your old power up behind you. And if you're playing co-op with Gooey, trade off. One person grab one power up, one person grab the next. That way you don't accidentally make the mistake of, of losing one you needed. Oh wow, you're just weak. <gasps> Fuck! I knew it. Well, I blew it. So now I can't beat this. Son of a bitch! Oh, that's frustrating. Oh. Yeah, there's still more, too. Not even worth getting now, which I should also mention for collection levels like this. Yes, you have to get them all run, run. Oh my god, there is a giant broom! I was kidding. I didn't actually realize there was a giant broom. I forgot about that. <laughs> I wasn't saying it sarcastically. It's like, yeah, they wouldn't have a giant broom, boss. Yeah, I honestly forgot they had one. Thanks, Gooey. Why did I have you out? Also, I should have kept that power up with me, because now I'm nothing. So, yeah. You have to get all the items in a level in one run, too. Oh, man. I suck. Well, I was hoping to get all the missions done in this world first, but, well, goes to show, I suck. Come on. Just keep doing that. Yep, just keep on doing that. Come on. Two more. Come on. There you go. Come on. One more. Come on. This mini boss is just pathetic. Like, come on with this shit. For real? So you may want to consider abandoning your power up for every boss. Just to be on the safe side, unlike me. Because I blew it. Oh, and also a side note. Keep in mind, you can't hurt this boss unless he has no spikes on him. So you can only hurt him by spitting things at him or when he's vulnerable. So this boss, you're definitely better off just, yeah, spitting things at him. Don't use the power up you have on hand, which would most likely be fire. If you're trying to do the mission, right? Ow! All right, come on. Charge! Ow! Oh! Man, I can't believe I blew it like that. I was doing it perfectly, but no, I decided, you know what? You know what would be better? If I decide to beat the boss of this power up since it's going so fast, and then try to grab the power up on the wall. Smart thinking. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder how clueless am I? Move aside. There we go. This would have been the last one. Damn. Oh, poor little girl. I'm sorry I couldn't get all your feathers. You filthy bitch. I'll take it. Hmm. Okay. So do I think I can go to the boss real quick? Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. So, let's take care of the final boss now. It's DDD. Which, well, he fights like you'd expect. Does it mean, or does he look tired or exhausted? Don't worry about it. Just keep pouncing him with stars. And he's still on hill like before. Yeah, something looks different about him, like he's sleeping. Again? Is this his new fighting style now? He just sleeps and fights? Ah, oh, damn it, I wanted to absorb that. Ah! Then again, the last time he was sleeping, he was corrupted by something. 
Nah. Now it's just a pattern. This is definitely his fighting style now. He just keeps doing... Oh! He just keeps going for this. What a jerk. Back off. Whoa! Take that, DDD! How you like... Oh, he has corrupted. Phase two! King DDD has two entire phases. Whoa! What the hell is that? And this phase is a little difficult. Because, uh, yeah. Now you get to see the dark entity inside of him. And, well, you got to come with a good opportunity to strike. Absorb one of the dark balls it shoots out. And then spit at him. So that way you can actually do damage. If you can hail multiple at a time, that would be even better. But, you know. Take your battles. Whoa! And just like the previous phase, eight hits to kill him. Ow! That freaking mouth attack. I hate that. Stop it! Come on, shoot your shadow balls at me, you freak. Stop it! And now it's just a matter of time until he gets the... Give it. Okay, this is five in a row, dude. You gotta come up with a different move. Come on. Oh my god! Just attack normally, you freak! Thank you! God damn! And I missed. So much for that. <laughs> Here, I thought I was gonna get through this boss quickly. Goes to show I do not know what the hell I'm doing. Nice. No oh! Oh, screw you. Oh, if you can go side to side from him when he does that, I guess you could prepare multiple attacks. I just need to hit him with one more, though. And done! How's that, DDD? Oh! I guess he realized the error of his ways. Well, that's that. Take that, DDD. We're done with you. Hmm. He's just conked out now. Well... Back to roaming the wonderful lands. Why does it look like the background's drawn? Here are your enemies, Waldy and Bobo, Bronto Bert, and Rocky. Along with Bouncy, Bouncy, and Sasuke. Oh, God! Poppy Brothers Jr. and Sir Kibble. One word. Nuff. Oh, yeah, that is your name. Sparky. Cappy. Oh, yeah, that is the mushroom enemy. I always forget about that. Broom Hatter. And Scarfy. Oh, very memorable. Togizo. Huh, that's a spiny wannabe. Apollo and Tick. You know, that's actually a good name for an enemy, Tick. Shots of, oh, I keep going to Gonzo. Kiki. Huh, Como. Spider, okay. Gordo. Baboot. Oh, Bat. Popon. Oro. Blipper. Of course. Kapar. Mohi. Moni. Bobin. Kani or Kahi? I can't read it. Squishy. Okay, it's a... And Joe. Wow, the shark's his name. Joe. Glunk. Dogo. Botan. Gabon. Galbo. Doka. Man, there's a lot of enemies in this game. Haran, the ones you see towards the end of the game. Magoo. Yaban. Gos... Gonsan. Mumbies. Kabu. All oh, right, those are called Kabu. I gotta remember that. D Kabu, the big one, I guess. Hidu. Loud. Wow. Loud. Mopu. Pasara. Terran. I guess it's the Terran of the Silent P. Chili, of course. Klinko. Wappa. There's a lot of enemies in this game. Karori. You only see like once or twice. Madu. Pelu. You weirdo. Pacto. Bukaset, Mariel, oh, Wapod, a Propeller, oh, they're all called Propellers, Batamon, that's the fake Kirby's name, and the Rabbit one, Poloff, we only saw once. Nice to remember all these guys, including the mini-boss versions, Babu, Captain Stitch, oh yeah, that is your name, Captain Stitch, I forgot about that, my bad. Habuki, oh, so that's the broom one, okay. Jumper shoot! Oh, right, you're called Jumper shoot. I forgot about that. I'm out of here. I don't want to see this anymore. 
Yuki, the snowball one. That's supposed for a fun photo. Nope. Blocky. Oh, right. You're just called Blocky. Of course. And... Well? Huh. I don't like how they just ignored me. Oh, well. I guess the world is mine. Yeah. There's your hint you need to get all the friggin' heart stars. Star hearts, whatever you want to call them. I keep mixing them up. Doesn't really matter. So, that's your fake ending. Get through all the game without getting all the star hearts, whatever they are, that you get. And unfortunately, I was an idiot and forgot a couple of them. Hmm. Anything else come up an option? Oh. Super NES MG5. What the hell is this? Oh, God! The minigames! I forgot it was in minigame mode. Can I get out of this? God damn it, I didn't want to do this right away. Hang on, time warp to the title screen. Son of a bitch. I forgot about that. So, you beat all the minigames, get to the end, you get minigame mode unlocked. To do a marathon of all five. We'll go over that later. There is some parts to that, we'll go over that later. So, now we beat... Now that we beat all the bosses, got to the end of the game. Well, all that's left are the Star Hearts. And, well, what a journey that will be. And you can tell all of them at level one, I've got them all in. Didn't get all of them in. So, all oh, right, I need to keep pitch for that one. Right, I forgot about that. All right, so come back next time. We're going to start going after the rest of the Star Hearts. It might be more than one episode, actually, because... <laughs> I left a lot behind. You know, I think when I went through this game the first time, I didn't have any trouble with these except, like, two. Now I missed, like, five. Yikes. Goes to show that playing recently did not help me at all.